Deep in the white heart of Tanzania, where time seems to stand still, lives a tribe unlike any other. Meet the Hadza, one of the last hunter-gatherer communities on earth, whose way of life has remained untouched for thousands of years. Imagine a people who hunt monkeys, tracking them through dense forests, taking them down with handcrafted bows right there in the wild all while speaking a language filled with mesmerizing click. This is their story, sustained. Hello and welcome to another episode of Storytelling with Balabi Media. Today, we're diving into the incredible world of the Hadza tribe, an Asian community that shows us how to live off the land like no other. But be warned, what you're about to see might just change how you view survival. Get ready for an up-close look at how they hunt and what makes their way of life so extraordinary. If you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on more fascinating stories from across Africa. For thousands of years, the Hadza have called the area around Lake Eyasi home, tracing their roots back to some of the oldest human population on the continent. They speak a unique click language, one that stands apart from any other and has remained unchanged despite centuries of modern influence. This language is just the beginning of what makes them so intriguing. What truly really sets the Hazza apart is their incredible hunter-gatherer lifestyle. They don't farm, they don't raise animals, every day is a journey into the wild to find food. Hadza men are exceptional hunters, using handcrafted bows and poisoned arrows to hunt everything from birds to antelopes, and yes, even monkeys. But it's not just the hunts that set them apart, it's what happened next. When the Hadza hunter takes down a monkey, they don't wait to cook it. Instead, they cut it into the fresh kill and eat the meat raw, right there in the wilderness. This isn't just a choice, it's a practice rooted in survival, keeping the nutrients intact and honoring the animal they've taken. There is an unspoken connection between the hunter and the hunted. A bond that goes back to the very beginnings of human history. The Hadza scale doesn't end at the kill. They read the land like an open book. They are known for their uncanny ability to track animals, following the faintest tracks, listening for the slightest rustle to locate their prey. They know when the monkey has passed, how fast it was moving, and even when it's likely to rest. This deep knowledge of the world allows them to live in harmony with it, taking only what they need. Socially, the Hadza live in small egalitarian groups with no formal leaders. Decisions are made together and there is no hierarchy, making them one of the few truly equal societies left in this world. Their way of life might seem idyllic, but it faces threats from modern pressures, loss of land, conservation policies and the encouragement of tourism. Yet, they also continue to stand strong, adapting without losing their tradition. The Hadza reminds us of a time when humans live in harmony with nature, relying on skill, knowledge and instincts, which to us is a raw and tender way of life that few of us can imagine. A life where every meal is earned, Every hunt is sacred and nothing goes to waste. If you are fascinated by their story and want more stories like this, make sure to like, share and subscribe to Balabi Media. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning and keep celebrating the incredible heritage of Africa. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.